Welcome to uh, today's video. Um, we're going to cover templates, how to create templates, and how to use templates. Uh, before I create a template, let me tell you briefly what a template is. Let's create a report and see what a template is. Okay, blank report. First thing is adding your attributes and adding your metrics. So let's add a few. Let's do something like year, region, and let's choose a metric from sales and revenue. All right, let's make sure this report has something in it. Great. Back to the design. Now, this is your template. Notice here it's called Report View Local Template. What this means by saying local template in your report view is this report has its own template. Each report will have a template. Each template will consist of attributes, metrics, page buys, any item that will be viewable when you run this report. That's what a template is. A template can be saved from a report or can be used by a report. So let's say this is the template that you created and you want to save the template. You can either save the report, so let me save and close. Okay, by saving the report, I simply saved the template in the report. So the report, if you look at the components of the report, has region year revenue. No reference to the template because it's a local template. However, let me edit this report. If I want to save the template as a standalone, I click on template tab, save the template as, okay, and I'll give it a name. So I'm going to call it my test template, okay? Now, let me close this. Let me look at the components. I'm still not there yet. So I still have region revenue year. Well, what happened to that template? Didn't I just save it? Yes. Just by saving the template from the report does not mean you associated the report to the template. The report still is a standalone report. Where's my template? It's saved under the template folder. My test template, okay? Let's go back to the report that I created. And probably didn't do a good job of saving it in the right place. Here it is. It's under public objects. So let me edit it. Now, if I don't want to use this local template, what can I do? Well, I can replace it. There's no removing of template because it's not using a template in, in particular. However, if I navigate to my template here and right click, look what options. I can replace with shortcut to template or replace with a copy of template. If I replace with a copy of template, I'm simply replacing the local template with a copy of this template, but no reference whatsoever. So if I save and close and look at components, still getting the three components. However, if I edit this and add it as a shortcut, and I recommend using this approach, using them as shortcuts. So I have a template that I want to use in my report. So I replace with a shortcut. What this does, what you see here is no more a local template. It's the my test template. Okay. Save and close. Look what happens here. Search for components. Okay. I no more see those three. I see the template. The template has those three now embedded in it. So 
You're wondering probably, well, what, what did I gain? I created a report, saved it as a template, I repointed the template. Well, I'll tell you what you gained. Now let's say I want to create a new report, or let me modify this report first. Look what I'm going to do here. This is where it gets really nice. So let me add a year filter, and hold, let me drag it. Here we go. Year, add 2008. Save and close. Look at this. Every time I save, it says, do you want to create a local copy or retain the shortcut? Let's retain the shortcut because we added a filter. We didn't add anything to the template, so the template didn't change. And it refer tells you which reports depend on this template, which is this report that I'm editing right now only. So let's look at the components. We're going to have a filter and the template and this is just the logical function that the filter is using to filter by the year I think we used 2008 in our case so the year in 2008 in this case so now look what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a new report blank report it's gonna come up empty but I'm gonna reference the my test template and use it as a shortcut okay and the year add it 2009 save and close new report 2009 retain yes retain because I want to save who else depends on it the other report great so look at this. This one has a dependency on the template, or a component, and this has the same template. Let's look at the template. The template, if you right click and look at dependence, has these two reports. The old report, I'll probably rename it and say 2008, which has the 2008 filter. So now let's run this. And let's run this. This has the filter 2009, this has 2008. So what did I just do right now? I created one template, I reused it in two different reports. The reason you want to do this is because you don't want to have to recreate your reports over and over. Let's say down the road a request comes over to not use region and to use call center instead. Well, if you didn't use the template, you'd have to edit this one, remove the region, add the call center, remove the region, add the call center, save, save. And if you had 20 reports or 10 reports, depending on the same template, you'd have to change each one at a time. However, if the request comes and your reports are template driven, which I recommend you always try to do a template driven, you simply go here and you say, okay, I don't want the region, the new request is by call center, take the region off the report, save and close, the dependents are still true, it's just verifying that, do you know that? Yes, I do, I agree look at my dependents and let me run them and let me run them and voila my reports both now use call center and I didn't have to edit my reports because they are template driven there's one more nice thing about this at the report if I edit my template I can do everything I want as far as formatting. I can change the feel and look. I can add a subtotal. I can add thresholds. I can swap. I can add page buys. I can format page buy. 
conformat. And one thing, but I'm not going to go into it much, is the VLDP property. You can actually tell, how, tell it how to treat the SQL or what to do with the SQL if you have special needs in your SQL. But we're not going to go into the VLDP. Uh, one thing is also nice about this is this report data options. You can also alias things while you're at it in the template. So instead of calling it call center, let's just call it center. Okay. And what I like about it when it's template driven, you change it one time, it changes for all the reports. So if I want to modify the joint types of the metrics, I can make it up. In, it's one metric, whether it's in or out, or it's not going to make a difference. Subtotal, if I had some subtotal custom groups, we don't in this case. Null values, what do I want to do with null values? Drilling, do I enable drilling or disable drilling for all reports that depend on this template? Remember, every time you change it, the template will changes everywhere else. That's pretty nice. I like this ability, and it confirms. Do you want it? Yes. And let's go back to my reports. So 2009, let's see how it looks now. Made some changes, there we go. In 2008, this is pretty nice because now you have total control, total consistency. Your reports look identical. So you get that consistency, that, you know, that unique report feel across your reports that use the same template. But let's just say you get a request, say, I want to keep 2008 looking like this, but 2009, yeah, I don't want the year here. The request comes in, let's put it back in the column. So watch this. Let's say I want to try to save and close this guy. It'll say, do you want to retain or create a local? If the request you have is to just for year 2009, for instance, for this report, I want the year here, but for the other reports, I want to keep it page by. You want to disable the retention, and say create a local copy. Okay. Now, 2008, we'll still have the page by, but 2009, we'll no more have the page by. However, since the retention is not there, now 2009, if you look at the components, will no more reference the template. It'll reference the components. 2008, which uses the template, will still reference the template. Okay? So that's very critical. You can, even though you're, you create a report that depends on a template, at any time you could remove the retention from the template and maintain the components of the template. Now, that's one usage of the templates. That's half of the, uh, the, the power of a template. The second half is drilling. Okay, So let me go to this 2009, which doesn't use the template. Let's modify it a little bit. Let's remove center. Let's say I want to add it by region. Okay, Great. Let me run it, make sure I have data. Sweet, so here's my data. And now I want to create a drill on region. Remember, we have a video for drills, so if you're not sure how to drill, you can go there. Let's edit the drill map, and from region, I want to drill to my test template. Okay? I'm going to keep everything as default and save and close. So now let's run this new report, 2009. All right, and now if I right click, drill, I can drill to my template, my test template from Northwest. It'll show me the call centers for the Northwest. Remember, this is an alias, so we renamed call center to center. So this is pretty cool. Notice it says you're drilled from new report, 2009 into my test template. So it still references the template name and the parent name. And you can save this. You can save it as your new report. You can rename it, whatever you want. But usually you don't want to save a drill. You just It's a runtime property. 
So by creating a template, not only were you able to use it in a report, but you were able to use it in a drill path. And obviously, you can it saves and remembers all your customized colors, looks, aliases, everything you did, page buys. It's pretty cool, actually. So again, just to wrap up, templates, use it for reports. You can have multiple reports sharing the same template. After they share a template, a report can be broken down and have its own template. A template can also uh, be used for a drill. But remember, you can only drill to a template that is saved in a standalone or saved separately outside the report. If you want to drill to a report, you really can't do that out of the box besides saving the template first and then re referencing to it. And remember, just because you saved the template from a report doesn't mean your report is using it. You have to uh, replace the report with a shortcut to the template to be able to reuse the template. And I uh, just wanted to uh, explain how these different configurations in a report relate to the template itself. So if you have a report that has a template, obviously, like this one, you have specified the colors here. But what if I go here and edit any of those properties? What do you think will happen? So let's say I edit and I change the agent. Once you hit the save, it'll remind you. Do you want to create a local copy or do you want to retain? Retain, you click here, you create. Well, once you retain it, you will overwrite everywhere else, okay? This is just saying, remember my last selection every time. Usually some people like it, some people don't like it. Depends on your design preferences, okay? Reminds you what your dependencies are. This is not it. The other report. So, again, I ran the wrong report. 2008. All right, so remember that I changed the colors and the format of this report. Um, finally, the VLDP part, which we'll go into more detail. If you change the VLDP at the report level, it will overwrite what you have at the template level. If you don't, it'll inherit, so your defaults will be whatever your template defaults is. Okay, so anything that says default inherited in a report will inherit whatever VLDP properties you set at the template level, which is also useful when you're modifying VLDPs to only set them at the template level and inherit them at the report level. And by that, we'll wrap up the template uh, tutorial.